Hi, it is estimated that nearly 90% of millennials and Gen Z professionals are not qualified to work and are not equipped with the right skill set. This is a very scary number if you think of that most people in India are not really equipped to succeed at their place of work. Why does this happen? This happens one because the education system is not up to the mark and a lot of corporates don't get the training right. But it also happens because people like you and me are sometimes not sure of which are the skill sets that are going to matter and how do you actually equip yourself to build those skill sets. In this video, these are the two questions we will look at. One, in terms of which are the skill sets you and I should master over the next decade to be successful at the workplace and how do you actually go about mastering those skill sets? My name is Sandeep Das. I am an MBA from Miami, Bangalore, and I hold a strategy course from uh, INSEAD. I have nearly 12 years of experience having held leadership positions in consulting and FMCG. I'm the author of three successful books, with my third book, Hacks for Life and Career, A Millennial's Guide to Making It Big, being a bestseller on Amazon. Let's start with the first question in terms of which are the absolute must-have skill sets for you over this decade. Now, when I talk of skill sets, I don't mean industry primers, but skill sets are capabilities that will help you succeed across industries and across functions. The first one in my view is how well you understand financial statements. When I say financial statements, I mean understanding the PL, understanding the balance sheet, and understanding the cash flow statements. Why is this important? Because irrespective of the role you do, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're working for a firm, or whether you have a side hustle, you have to understand financial statements to get a sense of how the business is growing. I know a lot of people who sometimes have a block about learning finance and don't really master this. And it's a huge mistake people make because as you keep growing higher and higher in your career, you will be managing more and more of the business and more and more of cash. And you need to absolutely understand financial statements very well. In my view of the three financial statements, the PNL, the balance sheet, and the cash flow, the cash flow statement is actually the most important. And most people don't spend enough time on understanding the cash flow statement. The second skill set, which will be in big demand this year, is knowledge of behavioral psychology. I can make a blanket statement that most business schools in India and most organizations do not train you with respect to behavioral psychology. Why is behavioral psychology so important? The reason it is so important is because human beings are not rational. Human beings are fundamentally irrational. There are biases. They behave very differently in different contexts. And as you are involved in a variety of situations, whether it's negotiations, which can be tricky, whether it's managing vendors, whether it's dealing with biases of consumers or investors, you need to master behavioral psychology if you're going to succeed at various interpersonal equations and various interpersonal interactions. The next skill set, which is very important, is the ability to story tell. Now, if you have read certain books on history or anthropology, they will tell you that storytelling is the greatest skill set that the human species has. And it's one of the reasons why the human species has survived so long. Storytelling is the ability to create a shared vision and rally people along to follow that shared vision, whether they're investors, whether they're consumers, or whether they're employees. Unfortunately, nobody teaches this, whether it's at business schools or at corporates. And this is the one skill set as you keep moving higher in your career, you will really need to master to rally people around you. The fourth skill set is often something that is highly underrated. When we were in business school, we used to treat the skill set of human resources as a soft subject. You took up electives on this subject if you wanted to relax or if you wanted easy grades, but nothing could be further away from the truth. 
If you see the evolution of your careers, when you start moving into your late twenties, you start having teams, you start managing difficult negotiations. The knowledge of human resources and understanding humans and understanding behaviors and understanding motivations becomes extremely important. And how you move up in life after that is a function of how well you handle people below you, how well you handle your peers, and how well you handle the outside ecosystem. The fifth skill set that is absolutely essential is. is knowledge of economics whether it's macroeconomics or microeconomics the reason it's becoming so important because if you look at the world around you whether it's the central bank easing up liquidity or whether it's geopolitical forces these are forces which are economics led that are going to define how your business is going to run irrespective of whether you're an entrepreneur a businessman or a working professional or having a side hustle your ability to understand your environment the macro and the micro economics will go a long way in ensuring you succeed in your professional careers now there are many more skill sets that exist but here are my top 5 which i think you absolutely need to master which are the other skill sets you think are absolutely essential drop your comments in the comments box below the second question is in terms of how can you master these skill sets there are many ways to do it so the first one is if you are studying in a business school or if you are planning to enter a business school what you should ensure is you take electives across these five skill sets When you take up these electives you should also try and write papers or articles or thought leadership pieces on these five courses a piece of advice when you are in business school i would suggest you don't specialize so often in a business school but keep a generalist profile try and be a jack of all trades rather than specializing too early in your mid to your late 20s The second way you can actually equip yourself about these five skill sets or courses is to actually learn this online. There are many online programs you can subscribe to. There are many influencers who conduct courses on these skill sets. For instance, inside I am from its Alt UD University has many such courses which you can enroll for irrespective of your background or irrespective of your age. The link for enrollment and a detail of these courses is in the description below. The third and probably the easiest way to learn about these skill sets is to read the right set of books. Here are two recommendations for you which you should consider strongly. One is a book called Nudge. This book is about behavioral psychology and how you can use behavioral psychology to win in your daily transactions. The second book is my own book Hacks for Life and Career a Millennial's Guide to Making It Big which has detailed primers on what you need to know about these five skill sets and how you can apply this in the real world. The fourth way you can learn about this is through podcasts and watching the right web series. I strongly recommend you subscribe to the Economist podcast. The Economist podcast is free and it covers a lot of the skill sets in terms of economics in terms of financial statements very very well. I also strongly recommend you watch series like The Mentalist which look at humans and their idiosyncrasies to actually predict who a killer is. It's a highly entertaining series and I would strongly suggest you watch The Mentalist to understand how human beings operate. What are your suggestions in terms of how you can build on these skill sets and what other avenues exist do drop your thoughts in the comment section below in conclusion there are many skill sets which people will tell you that you need to master but in my view if you focus on the five which i have highlighted earlier you will be set up for long term success and you should be very very successful in your professional careers if you have any questions or suggestions drop them in your comments box below and i will try and reply to as many as i can You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. Do send me a connection request on LinkedIn along with your thoughts or questions or messages and I will try and reply to as many as I can. With this we come to the end of the video. Look forward to seeing you on another video.